Instead of having like a rubber washer, it's got ceramic discs. Oh, you know what I mean? This house has like a lot of mysteries. Oh Yep, so here's the reality. My she shed is currently a man cave storage bin. We've got lots of great stuff in here, drums, bikes, lots of bikes, surfboards, fires, BMF, lots of garden, tools and a giant jumbo size uh, swamp cooler. Now I have to figure out where to put this stuff. This little patio would be better for the potting shed aspect that I want to do. So um, I just have to fix this up have to blow off those leaves up there. I even want to enclose this. This right here you can see the storm did. It blew over so much of the fence. A mini uh, tornado cyclone. They said that they did hit around here. Okay, so I feel like I made some progress. There's another, oh, another bike. Okay. Here on The Price is Right. My mom advised me that we only need like one or two shovels at the most. And right now we have um, a lot of shovels. We'll count how many shovels have been collected over the years. 
whatever that device is, I can totally see how that would help. These are lots of really good tools to have. Here is a rake. Be really careful because these things are all really dangerous because they're sharp. The key to this renovation of the she shed is going to be to clean out all the stuff first. I don't know where I'm going to put it all though. I'm going to have to find another place and just organize it. Maybe even put up another shed that will just be for tools and storage. I just want to make a little progress each day so I don't want to feel overwhelmed or exhaust myself. Look at Nelson. Come on. You can come in here now. This will be our future little creative space. Yeah. I feel like I've done enough of this for today. I'm just. It's already starting to not be fun. I think I'm going to move on over to what will now be the site of the potting shed. It's going to be a potting shed patio. I guess you get a suntan with this or something. Okay, I'm feeling really good about making some progress cleaning out the she shed. I can walk through it now and do more planning on where I'm going to put all this stuff, what I'm going to throw away, what I'm going to sell on Craigslist. You know, it's none of this stuff really belongs to me, but I have to ask the owner of the stuff, being my brothers, actually. After moving some things out of the she shed creative space, now I want to shift my focus and do something more fun for the rest of the day. And that is, I want to see how far I can get to paint this old bench. So my inspiration is from the movie Juliet of the Spirits. It's a Fellini movie. One of my favorite movies. I just love it. I love the fashion. I love the mood. So I'm going to look through that film and find different um, scenes that will inspire the mood of this space. And I'm so excited about this. Right now, after cleaning out the shed, I just want to... Um, yeah, go into more of my creative zone. So hopefully I will be able to start working on painting this bench. And I figure um, we should just get right to it here. What, okay, here's the vision for what I wanna use this space for. Are you ready? Oh, I should go get those drums that are in the she shed. Drum roll. Okay, I am launching Rena Riffle Beauty. It is a makeup line, skincare line, vegan, and cruelty free, all that good stuff. And it's for stage and screen. So, this space, this fairy cottage, is going to be the studio for my makeup line where I will do the pictures, the videos editing, um, put together beautiful little little spaces where I can photograph the products, do um, photograph looks and makeup looks and modeling. And here's my big vision. If I can pull this off by this summer, I want to launch this space by putting together a Midsummer Night's Dream meets Juliet of the Spirits and put on a show here. Really excited and yeah, I hope that you will come along on this journey. Come here, Wilson. Yeah. In the camera there. There you go. Here's my boy. Okay, so let's get to work. And 
you're all invited. However I put on this show, I mean, ultimately this, this space here is a business residential. So I'm, you know, it's, it's gonna be a business here. And I have all kinds of ideas like energy work, meditation, uh, Reiki, chakra, meditation, alignment, exercises. Things like that can be done here as well. And um, of course, with my baby grand piano, so we have the music piece. So it's just gonna be like this amazing creative space that I'm gonna make it. And it's, um, yeah, gonna be like the host for my Rena Ripple Beauty makeup line. That's been a dream of mine for so long, so long, and I, I'm finally, I'm finally doing it. So it's not like something I just thought of, like I've been trying to figure out how to do this for forever. Okay, here we go. Before shutting up the barn door of the she shed, this has been driving me nuts. Okay, so yeah, California officially um, is not in a drought, which is just, you know, it's been like that for a long time and a lot of my childhood I just know how to go about life when you're in a drought to dump out the water it's so heavy but here I'm gonna I'm gonna do that that's gonna be my last thing that I do with this kind of work and off to doing the creative more fun stuff And here are some swatches that I just went to Home Depot and got. Some different color combos that I just felt drawn to. I'm loving this Paradise Dynasty Marquee. I'm really Keeper loving hearts. this. This is very Keeper Keeper heart. Heart. This is very Keeper along with the spirits. Um, it was looking too pink before, like bubblegum pink, but now against the black and white the moons, you can see that the color does look a little bit more of the pink I'm going for. It's one priceless coral. What color do you like, Wilson? Which one? That one? You like the priceless coral with this pink abalone. And see, I just love this this green, like something, like mix the green with black, like a, like a checkerboard. Love the yellow. If you've seen the movie Juliet of the Spirits, you'll remember the beautiful yellow outfit that was worn in the film at the beach scene. These are my mom's favorite combos here. I'll tell you though, it feels really good to get into this creative space and just start planning the fun stuff. I definitely know that I don't want to do minimalist. I have done that for so many years now and just always I was always using very gray, even this house I picked out the color actually, I loved all the gray, very muted. I want to go maximalist. I want to, I want to do something bold, yet calming, still energetic, <laughs> calming yet energetic, those that I want to surround myself with. So 
but yeah, Julia of the Spirits is just such a great color palette. It has it has a lot of red in it as well, but a lot of very pastel. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Some color, dark blonde. Okay, the, the directions are amazing. This is so thoughtful, they gave me a little sticker so I can put the my directions like up on the mirror. Look, it says Rena's color. I can't find any of those hair clips and so I'm going to use these from my blackout shades. Instead of four, I'm gonna divide it into three. Yes, the crown. Rena Rain. This was so cute because I was like, where are the gloves? And look, there's the here we go. Here we go. There's the gloves. This is the part I'm nervous about. I've never done this. Um, but it does have the directions on the back. So it says apply to skin around hairline for hair color application. I'm just now starting to get gray hairs. It's really weird. Highlights. I've done color like a few times in my life. I did my hair um, black and then I had to, I did my hair like Marilyn Monroe and then I had to um, put brown in it and the, I didn't do it right and my hair turned green and then I booked a movie was so damaged they had to like paint on brown like play these gloves are so nice these are that I usually can't even wear gloves if I do like my own highlights it's just because I can't feel anything but these feel so like I can I can tell what I'm doing Venus color I'm gonna pour this into here I wish I could do a better angle of this but I feel like a scientist right now, like a chemist, which that's of course what this is. They shake vigorously. Okay. Oh, shaking feels so good. It's like gets out all that nervous energy. serious right now. <sighs> I think I think that's good enough. say that I've always been looking forward to getting gray becoming completely gray because I thought it would be an easier way to stay blonde okay my first reaction I took the towel off and looked in the mirror, and I am so happy. They just, they nailed it. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Because my inspiration is Julia of the Spirits, I thought I would dress up and really get inspired and get in the mood. Today, I'm going to play some piano music. I love on Spotify over there, I have it. Um, the channel called Dark Piano. It's so moody and inspiring and enchanting. And the winner is this color combination 
My mom loves these two together and I've always loved these three colors together. And I think this will just be really nice to look out at the patio and see these colors painted on this old bench. Blue Echo Art Nouveau Glass and Midsummer Gold. I'm really excited. I, I think I'm not even sure how I'm gonna go about doing this. I might just be rebellious and not even put a primer on it because it's more of an art project anyway. And, and I think I'm also going to do something different where I'm gonna mix my own paint with my own, my own art supply paint because I am an art major in college. <laughs> Today, to go with my Julia of the Spirits inspiration, I'm going to try my sample of my Rena Riffle Beauty lipstick. It is one of the most popular colors and it is called Deep Kiss in the Lap Dance Room. A very deep brown, if you can see, they do that and it has like some rose color it has some rose color in it as well so here we go very Juliet of the spirits vibe here clean beauty oh my god I love it it's very you know it's a very high fashion look it'll it'll dry soon who knows maybe like I'll um, maybe I'll I'll paint it different colors like for every season you know like when Halloween comes I'll paint it orange you know <laughs> but I'm happy I did that that was really fun that was really fun and I'm not done. I think I might even make all that gold. Except I'm leaving one per key, okay. one per note. Because wow. as it is from here to the top, you have three strings for every key. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting muting off all the extra ones. So now I just have one string per key. Um, 
and it goes, bends around this, it's called the bridge pin. It bends around this pin and then bends around this back pin and continues straight. Mm. So it comes in, angles, and then goes straight again okay. to the hitch pin down here. Tempered clavier books. Oh. The first prelude. Wow. Amazing. Boy, he's ready. He's ready for bed. This my douche to boo. He's ready for bed. That's my good boy. We're going to bed now. Yes. We're going to bed now. Okay, go to sleep now. <laughs> 